Today I'm going to share a recipe with you on how to make your own southwestern style black beans. These are similar to the bushes baked beans, I mean black beans, if you tried their seasoned black beans. This is very similar, it's like a mock of that. These beans, I'm also going to make some more of my ranch style beans. Uh, last time when I made them I used kidney beans, this time I'm going to use pintos. And then we're going to do six jars of of the ranch style, I'm going to do six jars of the southwestern style black beans. That's something great that you can do because it has the same canning time. So you could do ranch style beans, black beans, you could even do some of our burritos in a jar all at the same time. We're going to start out with one third cup of beans in each jar. So we're going to put a third of a cup of each. Then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt to each jar. The next ingredient we're going to add to is a season mix that I mix up and what we do is we add a tablespoon of each of these ingredients and it's chili powder, paprika, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. We're going to add a teaspoon of that to each jar. As you can see this adds a lot of flavor to those beans. These aren't just boring boiled beans in a jar. You can open these up, use them, put them straight in chili, straight in tacos, uh, burritos. Uh, these black beans are even great uh, drained and used in a black bean dip. Add a lot of flavor to those black beans. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some season blend. To my ranch style beans I'm going to add a full one-third cup scoop of the <clears throat> of the season blend, but to the ranch, to the black beans, I'm only going to add about half of the one-third cup scoop. The ranch style beans also have tomatoes in them. I just don't want to overpower the black beans. Off camera I also added a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire to each jar of the ranch style beans. If you want an exclusive recipe just for the ranch style beans, watch our video on making ranch style beans. Okay, I usually add a eighth of a cup of tomato sauce and an eighth of a cup of rotels. But the rotels that I have put up have a lot of sauce in with the tomatoes. So I added two one-eighth cups of rotel tomatoes that I make. These are not your normal rotels out of the store. <clears throat> These rotels also have green chilies and jalapenos in them. You got these ranch style beans, or uh, you don't really need to have a whole lot if you're making chili. It's most of the ingredients are already there for you. We've got our chopped jalapenos. I think this was four pretty good sized jalapenos, and I'm adding a tablespoon to each jar. These jalapenos do add a lot of flavor to the jar. They are de-seeded and also remove the white vein out of the pepper. So just cut them in half and take your knife and you can go down beside that white vein and take it right out along with the seeds. Next we're going to take a, uh, not the smallest can of green chilies, but the next size up, I think it's four ounces. I'm sorry, maybe it's eight ounces. We'll take a eight ounce can and it'll do 12 jars and we're going to put a tablespoon of the chopped green chilies with the juice in each jar. As you can see why I did ranch style beans and the southwestern style beans at the same time. Like I said, they have a lot of the same uh, ingredients. We've got our kettle boiling in the background. I do like to add pretty hot water to this. Now I did bust one of my jars, but I imagine the jar was already stressed in some way. 
is the reason why it busted, because none of the other 11 busted. Or it could have just been cooler than the rest of them. It's not this one or the next one, it's the third one here on the corner. When I hit it with the hot water, it does bust out the side. See, here we go. Pop. And it, it could have been cracked. I may not have looked at it close enough. If a jar is stressed in any way, when you add and do any kind of temperature change with hot to cold, that's when it's going to crack. But I would rather it crack here than crack in the canner. This uh, kettle holds a quart and a half of water, and it'll just about, it'll fill me six jars usually, then I have to turn the kettle on again, fill it, turn it on again to do my other six. So as you can see, we've got them all filled. I did replace the one that busted and put the ingredients in it. We're going to make sure we wipe the rims down real well. You don't want to have any seasoning, any pieces of any kind of vegetable, or anything on your rim because it could keep it from sealing. Normal times for most uh, beans canned is 75 minutes, but I do mine 80 minutes. I found that they're a little more done uh, the way I like them. So I do can mine a full 80 minutes. If you're gonna put cold water in the jars, I would advise canning them 85 minutes. Uh, normally on anything with sauce in it, like ranch style beans, pork and beans, I'll can them a full 90 minutes for quarts and pints. They just need that much longer to cook. I also let them completely cool in the canner. When your pressure comes off the canner, if you look inside the canner, those jars are still boiling. So that means they're still cooking. So you need to leave them there, especially with beans, to make sure they get done. You need to leave them in the canner, let them cool completely in the canner, or at least stop completely boiling. But you'll notice even an hour later, when you go to that canner and take the lid off, these beans are still boiling. We're going to do finger tight on the lids. Press them 80 minutes. As you can see, this is how they turned out. Hope you enjoy the recipe. All the ingredients will be down below with the recipe. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking on the subscribe button. And click on the little notifications bell. So you get notifications of any new videos we've got coming out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be glad to answer all comments and help you out where I can. If you have any questions about canning in general, I'd be glad to answer any questions. Hope you have a great day. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.